What's going on, Internet? I'm your host. I'm your host. That's all I got. I'm going to take this Volcanic Dragon. Is that better than Vivian's Invocation? Probably. This card's very good, right? This is removal and a big dude. 30 and 60? My god, you guys have F you guys have crazy FNMs. Wow, I wish I was pulling in 60 bones for an FNM. Back in my day. I don't know what to take here. Can you guys tell me? Is it Dragon or is it in or is it Vivian's invocation? Back in my day. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it on Dragon, and if you guys Vivian's almost unplayable? It's been fantastic every time I have it. I think you're just wrong. Are we just going to do red-blue again? Because Exclusion Mage is definitely the pick here. I'm just going to take this mage. Okay. My FNM has two hugs and a paperclip for second. Three kisses for first. <laughs> that's a good uh, That's a good payout. I'm going to take this one with the machines because it's just, it's just fine. If we can get some some manaliths or something especially if we can get a gear hog boy that's a good one we are going to need the manaliths when we open the fourth palladium wars you're not wrong Um, with our colors, it's probably this guy. God, I wish Scapeshift was worth more than like a, a dollar on here, right? It's like three tickets, actually. I think I could just take three tickets Scapeshift. I'm doing that. Uh, I guess it's just crappy Omen Speaker here. That's not exciting. Havoc Devils also, I think, is fine. Desecrated Tomb is pretty miserable. It's either Devils or Omen Speaker. I think it's probably Omen Speaker. I mean, if a card is worth 25% of the draft, I'm just like, eh, it should be fine. I like Instigator here. I like, ha I think Havoc Devils is, uh, pretty okay. I think it's probably just other Omen Speaker. Omen Speaker blocks a lot of things. And the, 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 Scrying is definitely relevant. I'm actually going to take this blood letter here. I don't think any of the red cards are that great. And this could be a good sign. Who knows? Why the hell do you hate Owen Speaker? It's him. I got two of them. You were so dismissive. Yeah, but they're here, aren't they? Why don't you take what you can get, Elk Tears? I mean, Lafof. God. Uh, sorry, I read too quickly. That was then. This is now, Christian Bale. <laughs> uh, but when will then be now? Soon. Oh, uh, I like a rup Rupture Spire if we're going the black route. I also think we can get another Gearsmith Guardian. But Manolith might be better. Hmm. Oh, man. I think we can get both of those other cards. I think Rupture Spire is where you want to be. I want to take this Highland Lake. I think we're probably going to go Grixis. And, you know, this is under the presumption that we're going to obviously open Nicol Bolas, right? So. I took the Rupture Spire because they're much harder to come by uh, than things like Manolith and Gear Hulk. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. None of these cards are... These are all like three three mana mediocre cards in our colors. I'll take the Uncomfortable Chill because I actually used it before and it was fine. It's a decent sideboard card at the very least.
Gear Hulk, Gear Smith, whatever that card's called. I don't know how gears work. There's another Gear Smith. Gear Smiths for days. Isareth, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Isareth here. And then we're trans transitioning from... Yeah, it's definitely Isareth. I don't like the idea of not playing this guy, which is nice because we have Highland Lake, Rupture, Spire, and Manolith. It's hard to splash a double red card, but we could just be, we could just try to be solid three colors. Oh god, I really don't want to click on whatever you're sending right now. It could be Volley Veteran, but I don't foresee us actually having that many. This page isn't even available. Unbelievable. Hold on, let me take the end off. Yeah, that page is not available to me. Do I have to log in? Alright, hold on. Try again. Nope, not available. You just sent me a bum link. Maybe because you yourself are a bum. Did you ever think about that? A very lucky hand. Hmm. <laughs> Where do you guys find these these clips, man? Is it Folly Veteran who's probably gonna deal him one, or is it just snapping Drake? It's probably just Drake, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Drake. Oh, I like a Plague Mare. That card's real strong. Yeah, we're going to take Plague Mare. Death Baron, do I care about you? No, I definitely don't. Lich's Caress, I do care about you, though. <sighs> Probably better than Sky Scanner here. Regal Bloodlord, actually splashable off of uh, Manolith and Rupture Spire, which is pretty interesting. It's also by far by far the best card in this pack. I'm going to take this guy. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And we have Blood Letter to trigger it so far. Uh, we can get some ch Children of the Night. These are the Children of the Night. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's probably just Snapping Drake. I like all three of these cards. But I don't think we have anything super special to rise back yet. And... Um, Yeah, I'm just going to take Snapping Drake. Oh, Child of the Night. Speak of the Devil. Yeah, we'll just take Child of the Night. At worst, if we don't have enough artifacts, we take this card out. It's fine. Wow. Definitely taking double Plague Mare here. 
None of these cards are great. In fact, they're all pretty bad. I'll take the Field Creeper in the in the situation that we're just in really dire straits there. Uh, actually, Macomb Waltz is pretty all right. Oh, another, another one. I'm going to take this Titanic Growth. Why? I don't know. Take a Plummet. Because we have a Manolith and a Rupture Spire. Maybe we just... All right, Nicol Bolas is coming, so that's fine. How many M19 trophies so far? I don't actually know. Nope, not a Nicol Bolas, to the surprise of no one. I will, however, take another Bloodlord. I hate passing these Sky Scanners, but two Bloodlords seems pretty good. The Fof is roasting the entire chat one Luigi at a time. <laughs> oh, just phenomenal. Probably going to take Electrify here. I think it's the best card. We can also take Star Ground Stag and uh, cement our Esper, our Esper status. Our Esper status. Our Esper status. How much removal do we have? Lich's Caress. That's pretty much it. I don't want to be four colors. I'd much rather be Star Crown stagging. Actually, Neonate does seem pretty good. I think I I think I overlook Neonate a lot. Is it Star Crown? Is it over? Yeah, it's probably better than Star Crown stag. Oh, Vampire Sovereign seems great here. Three four three four flying uh, Siege Rhino. This pack is stacked. I would not mind getting this or this or the Rise back. I'll take the Vampire Sovereign. Another Neonate, huh? Aviation Pioneer is good. It's probably just Neonate number two with Double Regal Bloodlord. Is Foil Miscaller worth anything? I wonder if... I actually have to check because modern is a thing. 19 cents. The answer is no. It's not Scholar. We have one. We're probably not playing one with the machines, which is really sad. Yeah, we'll just take Neonate here. Oh, I like Bone Dash here a lot, actually. Even even more than Child of Night. I think it gives us a nice little... Especially if we're not playing one with the machine. Strangling Spores. Also nice. I like Forsaken Sanctuary too. I think Spores is just too good. We also need a few more playables, so. You are by far the best Franklin Spore I've ever seen. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Take out the one with the machine for now. We're probably going to take Submerged Boneyard. I don't think we're going to play Dwarven, Dwarven Priest. I would like another land just so I can... Uh, play more white. I can have more planes in my deck. Ah, uh, Meandering River is actually pretty good. Yeah, we're going to play a bunch of tap lands. Oh. Alright. Hey, wow, that is a nice Forsaken Sanctuary. All right. Our lands are great now. Yeah, Endurance is good. 
This is another deck that looks fantastic, right? <laughs> we have all these great uncommons. We have an Isareth. We have double Bloodlord and double Neonate to go with the Bloodlord. Our, our mana base looks good. Uh, this is only 20 playables, but, I mean, worst case scenario, we can put a Duress and a Mind Rot in the main deck. I can also see us playing 18 lands, but I don't think we need to. We can also probably get at least two more picks here. Rise is playable. Wall of Mist could be good. Actually, like Wall of Mist a lot. We already have Macabre Alt and Isareth, so. Yeah, I could definitely see playing Wall of Mist here. It blocks pretty much everything. Short of, like, Colossal Dreadmaw, you're pretty much getting some solid blockage out of that guy. Also, if you guys have any solid blockage, you should probably consult your physician. Uh, Gallant Cavalry is an option. Considering our mana, I don't actually mind playing a Gallant Cavalry. Getting it back with an Isoreth is also pretty good. Oh, Endurance? That will be my 23rd card. Looking good. Nothing doing. Oh, uh, we just got that explosive, so we'll take this guy. Ghost form, sure. That's good. You're talking about having the runs earned, now transition to solid block. Is this channel should be named Fecal Matter? <laughs> oh, biscuits. Alright, so we got Spire, River, we got four lands that come into play tapped, which scares me a little bit because this isn't... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I like six white sources. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Probably going to nine, three. That's okay. It's okay, Alexa. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, six. Actually, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I don't mind considering this for white sources because the only time we'll need uh, a white mana is after we'd cast this. I don't want to consider this for our blue or black sources because we kind of need those before we get to Manalith. Um, so five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's eight, nine, six, which is pretty nice. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. Yeah, this hand's keepable. We don't have any black, but we do have a manolith, and uh, black is our highest, our highest color. Plus, any land lets us play manolith into neonate, which is nice. So that's pretty okay. Doo -doo, land. Black would have been nice. Uh, Plague Mare is pretty good against this. So if we actually draw black mana, we can just go Manolith into Neonate, which is pretty great because it gives us Plague Mare mana.
Oh god, Plague Mare, please. One time Swamp. Oh, biscuits. Oh boy. This is not going to go well. Guys. Press F to pay respects. I'm gonna block one. If you want if you want a sure strike, that's fine. Goodbye. We had a good run, little gentleman. Gutter snipe. Yeah, we're just going to attack here, and if you want to block with uh, Gutter Snipe, that's totally fine. Neonate seems like a pretty good foil for Gutter Snipe. No Shockums. No, no Shockums were had today. Oh, I see what's... Oh, look what's happening right now. My God. Well, now we're definitely playing Child of Night to gain some life into uh, Keep Up Neonate. I guess we could also bounce the Gutter Snipe, but I'd rather wait until we have mana to do multiple things. All right, here we go. Act of Treason, the Drake. I think we're dead. Is this real life? Plague Marin to kill both your instigators and to just die to Lava Axe Gutter Snipe? They have one card. So we're going to use this before... If they have Thud, if their last card is Thud, which it always is... Oh, it's just Sure Strike. If we played this instead of this, which I don't think we'd ever have a reason to do, we'd be at five instead. This is one less. We'd be at six because of the... <sighs> this format is hot trash all of a sudden. I have no idea what happened. I will play first. Oh boy. You know what? Sure. I'll keep that. Could be relevant if we ever if we survive that long. The thing is, snipe shouldn't be that dangerous. Nope, not that. This guy.
that's unfortunate. This is where Plague Mare would be great. We don't have that, though. Lava, Lava Axe is apparently the, uh, the MVP of this entire format. Who knew? It consistently does 7 damage to me. 7 to 10 damage to me in conjunction with other cards. I'm not sure uh, how I ended up in this predicament. Can we draw? We, we have two, two Plague Mares. Can we just draw one of them? Gutter Snipe. Well, that guy's dead, and then we're going to gain two. So that's, that's a reasonable turn. That thing doesn't have haste. Sure. I'm going to kill that thing too and then keep doing things. Because I don't want to take seven next turn, so. Go to 23. I feel good now. Well, that guy's also a pain in the ass. Every creature you've played so far is a pain in the ass. I don't understand. We can draw a Plague Mare attack with this guy. hope you block and then... That's not a Plague Mare. <laughs> so we just take eight now? Boy. I'm actually going to double block this guy because if you had a removal spell, you would have removed this first and then attacked with both. If you had Sure Strike, you still would have attacked with both. And we have Macabre Waltz in hand, so getting that idiot off the board feels pretty okay. Denmark, happy birthday, buddy. Congrats on being alive. Okay. That's fine. That's just fine. Yeah, I'm going to take two here. I was hoping for a Regal Bloodlord, because it lets us block both of these. Well, m most likely this. Just stop having it, that's all. Three, pump two to pump. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We take eleven if we attack. Yeah, I guess we're not doing that. Well, on the bright side, once we get our uh, prototypical round one and loss out of the way, we can 
we can we can rest assured that it's smooth sailing for the next two rounds so can you imagine how good one of our two plague mares would be right now you don't have to imagine it would literally happen like you could you could see it manolith manolith I mean, now we're just in a situation where we want to block and then pump. Oh. Fascinating. Plague Mare. It's actually not terrible. Goblin Instigator, Plague Mare, please! Will somebody think about the plague mares? One time plague mare. Oh, I guess I I guess they heard the play part. And that was probably it. So I actually have to attack with this because if they have lava axe, then we just lose to this dragon and lava axe. So sad days. Magic's a hard game. Plague mares get worse. Sure. I have one card. What's the odds it's Lava Axe? It's always Lava Axe, isn't it? Oh, for crying. Come on, dude. <sighs> 10, 11. 11 mana sources to 7 cards. You have to block here, right? Sure. Yeah, we're dead. Four, five, three, four, six. Sure. Land. Omen speaker. Cool. You know what? Fine. I'll keep it. You got me, Magic Online. I don't, like, so it's either, I'm either getting extremely unlucky in my matches, or I actually have no idea what a good deck in this format looks like. I, I admit that it could be either one of those. Alright, so a bunch of nerdy one-mana dirtlers. 
Well, we got all the mana we need for everything in our hand, which is nice, except for the Scallant Cavalry, but I accept that. These are decisions I have made. Sure you do. Any deck with multiple lava axes. I guess that's fair. Uh, we're gonna probably... I want to save mage because obviously they're looking to equip or enchant this guy. Um, I think it's probably Bloodletter here. If this gets countered, I'm more okay with that than if uh, Isoleth gets countered because then we can just get this guy back with Isoreth, so... If you're just sitting on a counter spell, that's fine. Oh, you're not? Yeah, so apparently the good decks in this format are multiple Lava Axe, uh, Active Treason decks, uh, multiple Rust Wing Bird decks, decks with multiple wands in them, wand of uh, trans transmogrifying wands and chaos wands. Those are the good decks. Any deck with prodigious growth in it is is top tier. <sighs> so what I mean, like, I'm always willing to be like, hey, I, mean, I just don't understand the format. I'm not grasping it, so. I, and I, maybe that's the case. I just feel like these decks are solid. They have very powerful cards on their curve. We have a good mix of removal, utility creatures, spells, things like that. We have solid strategies, like we have life gain strategy with double regal blood lords, double neonate in this deck. But then like we just can't get through. Just around the ice wrath. And dead. Alright, so now we can play Isareth and get back that bloody McLorderson. Next turn we can also, if they don't play anything, we can also bounce these two. Oh, they're gonna ask and scatter now. Come on, don't be Andrew. They're probably re they're like, let me see what this does. I don't actually want to attack with these cavalry gentlemen either because of this two, three, one drop. Is Rustling Valken the new Slitherblade? The answer might surprise you. Coming up next. Alright, based on our hand, we're going to do one of these jobbies. Oh, actually, this guy's a 2-2 now as well. Oh, no. I guess they can double block here. We kill both. If we bounce this... And you have one, two, three. Whatever. I'll, I'll bounce the guy that you actually have to. Actually, we should have blocked the two, three, because then we can attack with everything else. Oh, wow. She just didn't... Huh. Got through. I didn't think that was going to happen. I have not seen this coming. Just around the riverbed. This song really needs to get out of my head. This song needs to leave my head. And that was not great, but... We tried to... We, we worked with what we had. Both teams played hard. Dang, stop stop taking vengeance on my things. 
I mean, joke's on you. I don't have any more creatures in my graveyard anyway. Here comes the lands, guys. Here come the lands. Still no floaty boys. We're going to keep at least one land in hand for Macabre Waltz, in case we draw that. How's my high school marching band? I had hot stuff stuck in my head for a little decade after I memorized the trumpet part. Oh. Well then. I see. I guess that's true. You gotta look on the bright side. Only ten more lands left. Oh, well. I like having that in hand. This one, this literal one creature is holding our entire fleet at bay. Just around the river bend. Never go bone to ash, guys. I'll take two. Of my own medicine. Oh my god, all these creatures are bad. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have a single creature worth countering in my whole deck. Dang. Well, that's pretty good. I guess we could kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to play the land, because if one more land we can go play both of these, and I don't want, I don't want to take down my boned ash shields, but I do want to get into a position to Lich's Caress something, so... Besides, knowing our luck, we'll definitely draw two more lands, so we should be fine. Here we go. Take five. Actually, we might just want to kill this. This is actually at least two damage per turn. How is this real life? Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Whatever. I'm going to kill the wall because the wall is at least two damage every turn. The wall is as much damage as their biggest creature every turn. So, um... Three damage I can deal with when we're at 17. Here we go. Yeah, I probably would have countered that. Oh, how many times do I lose to 1-1 one, one and 2-2 two, two flyers? Do I have a Wind Reader Sphinx in my deck? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna draw my cobalt. You ready? It's not gonna do anything, but all right, we did it. So we take six, and we maybe take another six, and we're really just hoping to draw something. I don't think they're gonna have any more creatures. Oh, this is great though. They did not attack. I don't know why, but I guess because it doesn't increase the clock any. That's, I mean, if that's your reasoning, it's solid. Now we're both at 11. Oh, maybe because you want to play something? Oh, no, okay, well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5. That was actually great for us. Okay. 
unless you have cancel as your last card or a removal spell that we cannot bone to ash. Uh, we're actually at 10 lands like 9 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 cards. I mean, still, whenever you're drawing more lands than spells, when you have 17 lands and 23 spells, it seems pretty bad. Yep. Just put it on this guy and I can no longer block it. It's like they have the... Like, I don't understand this perfect draw situation. <laughs> yeah. I draw a 2-4 flyer. You draw murder's axe. Okay. Seems good. Seems like you're just around the river bend, buddy. I don't hate that. Oh my god, this 2-3, dude. I can't even handle it. And if we attack with this, they just easily block with one of these guys, right? Actually, we're going to do a thing. This is going to be epic. What are my thoughts on NBA Jam? I love NBA Jam. That game is on fire! From downtown. That's incredible. Wow. What? Why would you do this? Sure. I guess they're not going for my mage shenanigans. <sighs> Luminous bonds kill you. You got it. Boy, this bone dash is really something else. Just that guy, huh? The blood order can't actually bounce it anyway. Why can't it be? Like if we exclusionary, may oh, it can't be. I won't go back to our hand. But I mean, it gets rid of it like forever instead of just having it on board to deal with, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just block and, and blow our abnormal endurance because reasons. Because now we get rid of a flyer, and that's pretty okay. Yeah, they're just going to re-equip. Can you play a good creature? I roll. Oh, boy. Boy, this card, am I right? I'm gonna wait one more turn. You got it. Oh, B Andrews in our chat. They probably they they probably yeah, like they're probably just watching, so that's cool. I 
I mean, that's obviously why they know not to block this. Why, uh... Yeah, that makes total sense now. This is strange. That's incredible. I mean, I guess we're blocking, and then we're dead next turn unless we draw something to block a Rustwing Falcon. Reasonable. Yeah, it's an overlay, because whenever someone I'm playing against shows up in the chat, it's pretty awkward. Oh, wow, I want both of these. Um, put on top, and then put this on top of that. I mean, I guess if they have removal into equip, we lose. They're using them in chat as B. Andrew, the same as their... Oh, now they're gone. <laughs> now they've left the chat. Okay. So, very strange. It's interesting. Paranoid? What's paranoid? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're gonna all block. One, two, yep, let's Macabalts, get back Bloodlord, and we're gonna have one, two, a four, what eight mana we can cast pretty much these two. Pay two. Uh one, two. Yeah. Like, it's just it's just weird. Like, if you left after I said your name, you obviously were watching, right? So, very strange. I'm actually going to bring an explosive apparatus. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Here we go again. Here we go again.
don't care about wall of mist here. Keep I'll keep strangling spores though. So next time we can actually kill this bird. Interesting. Kill the bird immediately. I don't want you to have a pump spell. I don't want you to have a trick. If it wasn't cast, exile it. Sure. So that gets rid of a 2-2 two -two from Gallant Cavalry. Is it Manolith or Icereth? It's got to be Icereth. They don't have enough power to kill an Icereth on board, so. That's a twofer. It's only non token? Oh, wow. All right. So Icereth still. No, Icereth doesn't make a token, though. It actually returns the creature. Yeah, so it works against Icereth, but it doesn't work against Gall Gallant, Gallant, Gallant Free. Uh, I'm just gonna play Manolith here, so we can play uh, Lich's Caress next turn. Force Pitch Force, welcome back, buddy. Yeah, we're just going to take five here. I can't imagine uh, wasting some sort of nonsense on this. We could block Abnormal Endurance just to get the Scry, but it doesn't seem great. Although Icerath Omen Speaker seems pretty reasonable here. We can just block with an Omen Speaker uh, and then attack with Icerath next turn. I think I'd rather just get this guy off the board for now. Well, that's not the best top deck in this position. I mean, if we hit a six drop here, I don't think we have any six drops. Uh, bottom you. Yeah, you seem fine. pretty good oh interesting why not kill snapping drake there intriguing most intriguing I feel like shooters are competitors who don't want to compete yeah it's true I mean like I don't understand the satisfaction you get out of cheating in a competitive game like this. Like, the satisfaction for me comes from um, from besting my opponent, right? And knowing that, like, they played their best and I played my best and my best was better. 
But if you're cheating, like, like, what's the difference between you cheating and winning and them just being like, eh, I'll just concede and you can win? Isn't that the same? Principally, isn't that the same thing? Hmm. See, Frankie Kenzie both screwing makes the gentleman's choice. Oh, preach. <coughs> What, what to do, what to do. Well, I'm definitely going to just block with uh, snapping Drake. This is the play. They're at five. We'll put them to two at the very least. No, one. No, four. Nailed it. Uh, I don't want to play Waltz until we actually have two creatures in there, because this Boneyard's pretty good sacrifice. Uh, discard thing. So you just take two, huh? Okay. So I can put you to one here? Is that good? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I guess the I guess when you're playing for money, I can understand a little bit more, but like god, is it really like that? Is it worth that much to you? I want to do this now. It's not great. This guy doesn't come back, but it does trade with the meteor golem, so Yeah, bring it back. Bring it to the battlefield. And if they attack with anything, we're blocking with Drake and getting it back with Macabalts. And now it's lethal, so. Walls, walls on deck. I don't see you blocking with that guy, so. Well, we're going to attack with everything. So you're either going to two or you're trading with the miscaller. In which case, then we have macabre bolts. That's pretty valuable. Yep. Yep. One, two, one, two, three, four. So, one, two, waltz. Get back these two. Macaw waltz is very good in the situations that it's good in. Uh, one, two, three, four. Cavalry. And now we'll just play the boneyard. It's round two. Feels like round three. My god. They yeah, might as well equip that axe, right? So you go block here, or block here, block here. Yeah, I'm still 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 do it. Interesting that you get rid of the creature when you now have Isareth in hand. Oh, use your bone dash. Oh, that's better. All right. Well, you're still dead on board. I have no uh, no other cards to make me discard something for value, so I might as well just play the land, and that's the end. All right. Cool.
Yeah, this hand is great. Hand is great, feels great. Hi, my name is probably Bean. <laughs> His name, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. We have a good time. Man, and this deck has two Plague Mares in it that we didn't see in like any match other than the very first game. Oh, I kind of like this. I want to hit my land drops. I really like the Oh, well, I guess we're just hitting both of them. Yeah, I'll put both of these on top. And next yeah, turn four, we can play both of these. If we hit a uh, planes, it's pretty good. Typo, sorry, not sorry. Float City. Cloud Sprint. Glad you don't have to catch the YouTubes, but feel free to catch them anyway. Oh, a little sky scanner. All right, so white mana would be fantastic here. I like a good white mana. Can I get a planes? There's good lands on both sides, guys. Find find lands on both sides. Oh no, no, I said white land, not a white card. Thank you though, appreciate it. Preach. I'll block and I will... Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, you're just... No, you can't activate that with, with double green. Oh, I see. How nice. Oh, you actually can. I God, I always think that's a black activated ability. I, I always totally forget that it's a just a random colorless ability. Unbelievable. Yep. Takes these. Where, where are my planes at? Mike isn't here to say... Hey, I just want to say sorry. It seemed like I was cheating to me. I don't consider it cheating. I consider it like I was actually real dirty. I apologize. <laughs> what? No, dude. Oh, wow. No, dude. It's definitely cheating. I mean, you can call it what you want. You know it's you know it's immoral, right? Like, I mean, that's a super weird take. Wow. I'm definitely not revealing my hand to you. If it takes... If it's... Think about it this way. How about this? How about I, I say to my opponent, hey, I'm streaming. I'd appreciate it if you didn't look at my hand. If I ask you in advance not to look at my hand because I'm streaming, because we're a civilized society and we're all intelligent human beings, if I ask you in advance out of consideration and courtesy, would you agree to that? Would you say, okay, I won't look at your hand? If your answer is no, you're a piece of shit. And if your answer is yes, then just assume that every streamer is making that arrangement with you. It's pretty simple. It's really not complicated. It's the equivalent. Of, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's a little different than than in real life. Looking at your other opponents, your opponents walking around the table and looking at their hand. But it's the equivalent of going to the other side of the table, looking at their hand, and then blaming it on the fact that they didn't hold it enough. You didn't guard your hand well enough, so I looked at it. You know, as part of the rules, you're not supposed to just look at your opponent's hand. So just because I made it easier for you to do doesn't really mean it's not cheating. You know, I mean, I'll give it to you. There's no, there's no specific rule about it in, in the comprehensive rules. So maybe it's not cheating per se, but it still makes you kind of a scumbag.
Like, if you're going to come in, in the in the stream that you're playing against someone, like, okay, A, do you really need to win that fucking badly in a two, in a, like a, in a Swiss draft? Come on. And B, like, just admit it. Just own up to it and be like, yeah, I like to, I like to cheat because it gives me an advantage. But don't, don't like backpedal and say, I, d I didn't mean to offend anyone by looking at your hand while I'm in the middle of a match with you. What competitive game would you ever do that in? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, man. That's surreal to me. Rabid bite? No, just doom to center. All right, all right. So for another two for right upgrade, what do you think about uh, honor guard? Doesn't seem great. I don't know. Like it's it's the problem is it's a one three and constructed, and that's just not putting you in the place where you want to be. That was Eddie Guerrero's gimmick for a while, and he was WWE champion. Well, dang. I want to play the land. I feel like we still need lands. Okay, that's fine. I accept your manolith. Like, even aside from the entertainment and enjoyment angle, like, what's the point? Like, do you really need to win that badly? Like, do you have nothing else going on in your life that this, this, it all hinges on this single magic match? Because that's real weird, man. That's like me going up to, like, that's like me going up to Mike B and slapping him in the face. Right? Like, as hard as I can and being like, it's not illegal. Yeah, but it's you, it still makes you a shitty person. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you win legally. I guess in a legality sense, you win. But you're still hot garbage. So, you know. Oh, he's gone now. They They didn't have anything else to say, I guess. It's illegal in the sense that it's assault, right? But, like, I mean, you're not going to get arrested for me. I mean, like, if, my, if I slapped Mike across the face and he called the police, they're not going to, like, do anything. <laughs> like, they're going to be like, okay, don't do that again. Goodbye. A planes would be great. I would be real thrilled about having a planes here. There's not school sales to stream side. Yeah, I know. We, we've I've seen. I, I know all the. I know all the sides about it. I know. I know all the sides. I'm still gonna argue about it. It's either Second Drake or Macabre. It's getting back Child and Blood Marcher. I think I like Child Blood Marcher better here. The worst part is, like, I didn't mean to offend anyone. Like, what? Did you think it wouldn't offend someone when you literally cheat against them and then lose? And then you lost, which is, you know, pretty satisfying. <laughs> Congrats on cheating. And losing. Good times, good times. It feels pretty bad. This wand also doesn't feel super great here. 
Like, if we just play Snapping Drake, they they beat our Drake up again. I mean, if they want to give me another Ox, that's fine. Yep. I just, I can't get over that, that comment though. That's hilarious to me, man. Just want to say sorry if it seemed like I was cheating. To me, I don't consider it cheating. I consider what I did a fair play because I felt like my opponent essentially revealed their hand for me. No, they didn't. <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, so cringy. What a cringy opinion. Uh, this guy's really problematic, but I guess we have a million blockers. Does MCU no, not reveal no, he he came into the stream and looked at our hand that way. I'm so, I mean, like, it bugs me because it's like it's such a weird thing to do. Sorry, Mayor Crash, that's what you get for trying to play MCO when you live in the boondocks with terrible internet. <laughs> that's Mike from our first round. Oh man. Or from last Oh, that was at 5.04. Oh, that was a while ago. It is now 6.59. All right. That was a while ago. That was like two hours ago. This is only sorcery speed, right? Yeah, okay, good. Rabid Bite. Okay. Well, you were bound to have that eventually. Got one card in hand. Let's make it to, make it to casts. This is half their life, discards half the cards in their hand, then sacrifices half the creatures they control around it up. Well, that's pretty good for you. You can sacrifice a bunch of dirt burgles. I also lose four more life. Discard yep, these two. Well, that is unfortunate. I'll keep the card I can play. Josh, have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good night, have a good weekend, what have you. Sacrifice three of my five creatures. One, two, and three. Well, that's pretty brutal. Actually, this almost kills them by itself. <laughs> that's pretty good. Not sure how we win now. really frustrating it's actually reasonable because if they right, they go to one and then they go to two if they activate neonate it's not terrible the the three mana angel is insane Host, host mania. Don't be... Don't be telling people to, to cut the resplendent angels, buddy. Oh, I would definitely say they... I, I would definitely say they cheated. So we go to three, we double block here. Yeah, this is actually... Neonate's pretty insane here. I wish they didn't have their own neonate, but what can you do?
Like, it's just as cheating as if, like, someone walked around. Okay, so if someone goes to the bathroom, right? Like, if you're in the middle of a match with someone, someone has to walk past you to go to the bathroom, and then they look back and see your hand. Are you going to say it's not cheating because they literally weren't guarding it well enough? Like, I would say... That's still cheating. So they got a block with all three. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to get through to you. Like, I, I understand what you're saying, but that's not really how that works. It's not really that different. The spirit of the game says you should not be looking at your opponent's hand. I'm clearly not. The spirit of my my stream is clearly not to to prom, to show my hand to the opponent. That's clearly not my intention, and everyone knows that. You can pretend you don't know it. You can act like that's an irrelevant fact, but it's not. You know that I'm not showing my opponent my hand. If you violate that, it might not be cheating in the sense of the comprehensive rulebook of Magic the Gathering, but you're violating the spirit of the game in the sense that you're not supposed to have that information and you know I'm not consciously giving it to you. So, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how much clearer I can make that. If it's not on the rules, it's not cheating. Okay. You got it. I, I, I'm not going to argue with you, man. Like, it, cheating is a very weird word to use. Like, I'll just say it's not. It's just a shitty thing to do. Did you trade zombie here? If you don't think it's a violation of sportsmanship, I, I, I can't. I'm not going to argue with you. Yep. Seems f fine. Thank you. Ezab, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Dude, then stop using the word cheat then. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. If we swung with all three, I'm not sure if we have enough on the backswing to actually survive the Colossal Dreadmaw. So we can block with both of these. They kill this guy. If they have a pump spell, we're dead, so whatever. Okay, we go to two. Or we go to, yeah, we go to two, and then we go to one. And then we have three attackers. Who did I try to say? Uh, is is Uh, unfortunately, they are not cheaters. Wow. All right, we win that game. I think they realized they can only deal us one. Go to three. We put them back down to two, and we have two. Did they just not draw anything? Because that's interesting. Awesome, Matthew Ori. Would you guys mind taking the chat to like standard on Discord? Um, don't care about plummet. Actually, we don't have green. Uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. I think duress could actually be pretty good here. It doesn't hit the big guys, but it hits things like Rabbit Bite and Transmogrifying Wand, so I'm going to bring in the Duress and I think that should be fine. 
Well-rounded hoodlum. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this hand seems good. A little slow, but I think we'll manage. Well, that's not... Well, unless we draw something great here, we're going to just rupture, rupture Spire. Yeah, that was actually an okay draw. Manolith into Bloodlord. I'm game. Literally sub just to hear you say hi. Well-rounded Hildum, how you doing, buddy? How are you today? I'm going to discard Plains and Swamp, I believe. That's totally fine. And if we hit a land, we can still play Bloodlord. If not, we have Gallant Cavalry, so. You got it. Omen Speaker. Uh, God, I hate Cavalry here because it just doesn't block well. I'm just going to play Omen Speaker, try to hit my third land. Fourth land. Um. No, I got to bottom both of these. Yeah. Because we already have a turn for a play for next turn. Hossmania, it was you and uh it was you and the other guy talking about Penny, Penny Dreadful as well, right? Because that's pretty funny. I like I like how you totally get swept up in deck discussions. And I mean that sincerely. That's actually pretty sweet. Oh, well, that's that's a thing. Yeah, we're actually going to block with Mist Gallant Cavalry against this two-headed Zomboy. They have six cards in hand? My god. Yep, that guy's obnoxious. Fifth, nope, that's not a land. All right, well, we're having a good time. Do I just get free damage in? Cool. Me likey, me likey breadsticks. Double Mind Rot, huh? That's cute. Sure. See what happens. Titanic Growth? Of course. The problem is if we hit a land, uh, <laughs> we can't discard it to Macabre Bolts to get the Blood Lords back because then we won't have the fifth land. But if we... Uh, I guess we can go land snapping Drake. Sure. Yep. Fascinating. Hmm. 
What's even happening right now? <laughs> sure. Yep, Archer's a real piece of work. Witch's Caress, Swamp. All of our guys think great. Yeah, this this is pretty much game here. I'm going to bring in the Apparatus, too, just because uh, reasons. I got one Plague Mare. I don't think it's that great in this matchup. Tempted to bring in Mind Rod against them. I just don't think it's that great, so. Our opponent clearly disagrees, but what can you do? I will play first. This hand is great. We call it Factor Sales Passable Products. Oh boy, here we go. Dad joke incoming. Give me a land so I can play this Manolith. Thanks. All right. A satisfactory. Wow. Land. Burr, <laughs> land mind rot I'll probably keep bone to ash because it recovers a card regal blood lord number two wow <sighs> okie dokie so we have no creatures right now now I'm probably keeping macabre bolts actually bone bone to ash is still probably pretty good right they have two cards. We can keep up Bone Dash. Well, that's pretty brutal. I'm actually just going to play this guy. With this and this on board, it's actually a pretty reasonable clock. Oh, that's great. Hmm. All right. I think we're doing it. One, two, three, and then we don't get to keep up Bone to Ash, but I don't think that matters, especially if Isareth resolves. Because we do get to keep up Apparatus, which puts them to one. I think we just won. One. Maybe not? I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's fine.
Rapid Bite the Flyer. Which is actually fine, because then we attack with this, get back uh, this, put them to two, and then explosive apparatus them. So that's, I imagine that's the end. Yep. Yep, that'll do. All right, sweet. Another 2-1, uh, despite uh, winning against the cheater and uh, getting utterly lava-axed out of the game in round one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the content other than uh, subscribing on Twitch or uh, you know following or what have you, you can check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. I post new content there pretty much weekly and uh, just another way to support the, the, the content I make. And thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you next time.